Hey guys, this is Breakman79, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Uh, so, Baldur's Gate 2 originally came out in the year 2000. Um, that was when I was a senior in college, actually, and somehow I missed it. I didn't know it came out. I, I played some of the old, old, old Advanced Dungeons & Dragons computer games, uh, namely... Uh, Secret of the Silver Blades and Pools of Radiance. Uh, I had a good friend of mine uh, install them on my very first PC, uh, 386, way back in 1994. So I'm I'm sort of familiar with the system, and I believe it still uses the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rule set. So nothing new there to me. Although, actually, I'm more familiar with uh, the newer games like Neverwinter Nights and Neverwinter Nights 2, which use the version 3 rule set. Um, now, I would say this is my first time playing through this, but I've actually played through the, I want to say, like, the first dungeon already, uh, trying to record a Let's Play, and had it utterly fail due to the inability of Fraps to record the audio from the game. So here we go again, it's a do-over actually. Uh, so the Enhanced Edition here adds basically widescreen support and four new characters to the game. I believe the story is pretty much unchanged except for the sort of the extra quests uh, added on for those four new characters. So without further ado, let's let's jump into the first. Oh yeah, and. Uh, they add this third scenario here that's new as well okay so let's let's go ahead and watch the intro cutscene which pretty much sums up um, the first Baldur's Gate game Spend your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father, Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer, Saravok, was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, lord of murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his tank back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravak. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Spooky, huh? Alright. 
So here's the uh, the four new characters that they added. Um, can take a look at them real quick. Black Guard Dorn Ilkhan. Physical power. Let's see, Wild Mage, Nero the Wild Mage. She sounds pretty interesting. And so does this character, Hexact. Mysterious thief. And finally, Rasad, who is a monk. Voiced by fan favorite Mark Muir, whoever that may be. All right, let's continue on. Single player. Let's go with a brand new game. Um, yeah. So these people are the. Uh, don't feel like rolling your own? Take one of these guys. A fighter, a mage, or a thief. Or a cleric. But we are going to create our own character. Gender, we are going to pick female. Okay, let's pick... That looks good. Race. She is going to be an elf. Class. Now I've done this before. Actually, um, normally in all the other Dungeons and Dragons games I've played, especially Neverwinter Nights and Neverwinter Nights 2, I always went with a sorcerer because um, you know it's just enjoyable to walk around with a basically a walking artillery artillery cannon, just blasting fireballs at everyone in their face. Uh, I was great fun, but. Uh, I think I'm going to do something different this time and go with a this Kensai character, which sounds really interesting to me. Um, they're going to be a little squishy because they can't wear any kind of armor at all. Nothing. Not even bracers. Um, but they get this nice bonus to hit damage rolls and speed. So, you know, when they get up in there in levels, they're going to just be basically slaughtering everything. Um, um, this character could also be uh, dual classed, probably with a thief or mage. Both of those would probably be pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> the mage would be amazing, actually. But I think we're just going to keep them as a uh, just this alignment, neutral good abilities. Ah. So here's where I'm going to sit around and keep clicking this reroll button until I get something nice. This will only take a, a minute or two. Uh, I'm just going to pause the video here and I'll come back when I get something decent. Alright, so I've, got, I've rolled an 89 here. Um, actually I got something higher than that, uh, a 90. Like around the 8th or 9th click. I, I, a 90 went by and I missed it. I, I kicked myself for that, but 89 is pretty good. Um, the highest I've ever gotten is 94, although I have never seen that again, and I've clicked this thing probably a couple hundred times. Alright, so let's, um... Oop, let's, let's spec this guy out here. Okay, strength 18, dexterity 19. Uh... I get any more? Nope. So, 18 strength, 19 dexterity, 17 constitution, 10 intelligent, 10 wisdom, and 15 charisma. Sounds pretty good to me. I'll say we are done. Skills. Alright. I think we are going to go with longsword proficiency here. Max it out. Um, short sword. Let's put one into katana here. We can. Eh. I think long swords are far more common in the game than katanas. Okay. 
Okay, appearance. Oh, jeez. I hate how ugly the character sprite looks. Is that as dark as it gets? I guess so. Um, she's kind of greenish. Maybe something else. Eh, good enough. Um, I like this one. This is like the uh, <laughs> sultry kind of sounding woman. Uh, this one sounds like yeah, not so tough. <laughs> like way too comical. Uh, that's the default one. And this woman sounds like. She's on steroids. So, let's just pick this one. Name is Myra. Alright. Looks good, looks good. Accept. And here we go into the game proper. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more... experiments. <laughs> the pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Yeah, this guy likes his women Interesting. roasted. Interesting. You have much untapped power. <laughs> nope, fried me again. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. I wish all the dialogue in this game was voiced. It would sure make things easier. But who, who the hell are you? Who am I? He messed with your head too. I'm Imowen. We lived in the same place for years. I guess I can't blame you for getting all I remember is us jumping near Baldur's Gate. It was quick. I don't think I want to remember it all. He's been doing things to us, Maya. My, I can't even pronounce my own character. Myra. We have to get out of here. Can I trust you? I don't remember a thing. It must be because he's messing with our heads. I don't remember much, but I know it. It hurt. Myra, I just have to get out of here. Uh, okay, we'll get out of here and figure out what's going on. Good, because I don't know if I could get loose again if I had to. Not with the pain in my head. It isn't like a normal pain, Myra. It's on the inside. Like my bones made a little dagger, and it won't go away. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, all right? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after our captor, I think. Yeah, we saw him. There's people dead all over, and the fighting is still going on. I could hear it. Are you going to get moving, or do I leave without you? Right you are. Let's go. Good. I don't want to go by myself. I need you around, Myra. Don't want to be here alone. We should look in that room to the west first. West and just a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's room off to the corner of this one. I don't think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff, but anything is better than nothing. Now let's go. All right. Nothing to it. Okay, let's go pick up our swords. All right. Let's see. Long sword for me. Short sword for the girl. Key. Now, let's take this two-handed sword and not a katana. Uh, let's take this jacket. 
Okay. Let's get out here. Now let's go find our uh, other companions up here. Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. <laughs> that is funny every time I see it. Mince your money where your spirit must find these bars unbearable. Time is short for talk. That is small. Release me, I'll rain beatings down upon all who have dared touch me and the Dynair. She will be avenged. There's Dynair, is there another trapped here? Trapped her spirit. Her spirit is trapped in a cage created by my failure. I was to guard her, but she she Um she's dead. Yep, they they killed her as I watched, you see? I know not who they were, but but I will redeem myself. Minx, that is horrible. I am so sorry for you. I won't cry for the dead. I won't, okay? Maybe a little. But I will staunch the flow of tears with righteous fury. Lullaby and good night, evil. Minx will make you pay. Will you help me? Will you join together once more? And our furry will be such that bards will run their quills dry. Yes. Ink will be scarce wherever we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You being here shows you're weak. I will leave you where you are. Yes. You. You turn your back on those in need? You are abandoning me in my hour of shame? You, you are no better than those that killed thine hair. You are filth that I called friend. Do not make me add your ass to the ac <laughs> your ass to the kicking list. I would do so reluctantly, but I will do it. Choose your path now. You are quite clearly insane. You shall stay right here. Sorry, Minsk, you're crazy. I will make sure you do not live long enough to abandon your friends. I will, I will, I will do all of this as soon as I get these bars open. Rawr! The bars, they bend and twist with my berserker strength. Minsk and Boo are free. No, you will not. No. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes. Yep, I am as smart as his pet hamster. Now we can resume our adventures together. There are friends who avenge at villains to smack about the face and neck, right, Boo? Together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Answer they will, and my sword shall be the question. We shall have fistful as a sweet, sweet justice, and our enemies will be stains beneath our feet. What? Yes, but, but, all right. Boo tells me that I am raving again. I did not notice a difference, but I shall heed his words nonetheless. You know, because a space hamster is the smartest thing on the planet. Yeah, there, see? Come, we must go now. Yes, Minx and Boo and you, together again. Beware, villains. I will force justice down your evil, evil throats. I am the best kind of warrior. I am large, and I carry nature's favor with me wherever I go. Boo is my animal companion. And while some smaller rangers might compensate for their size by <laughs> traveling with bears and wolves, I prefer the subtleties provided by a miniature giant space hamster. Yes, subtle. I don't know about that, Minx, but he sure is a cut, cute little fuzzy wuzzy, aren't you, Boo? Boo is the best purchase I ever made, and despite my head wound, I will tell you that his previous owner was good and honest. Boo is an asset to us all. Yes, then let us be off. I have lost words myself in your words, but Boo thinks you are just ducky. Onward! Okay, let's, let's trade him a... Two-handed sword. And he will equip that. Okay, next. Quickly, we must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never nope, dull. never is. Yes, who the hell are you? Perhaps you've taken a knock or two on the head. At least I would say that not remembering me is a symptom of some deeper problem. Though I would not rule out a bad attempt of humor on your part. No, we have traveled together too long for such games, and I will answer plain and true if it will help. 
Jahira is what I am called, as you should well know. We have traveled together for some time, and the places we have gone number too many to name. At the behest of your slain foster father, my husband Khalid and I have kept an interest in you. Though you have proven to be your own person in all things. Remain in your company as friends more than guardians, and our exploits together have left the land for the better. We have earned many enemies, but we have dispatched them all. Whoever has trapped us now is certainly powerful to have done this so easily. Once we know, we hope deal with them in due course, but for the time being, it is more important to re retrieve our friends, companions, and leave this place. Where is Khalid? I do not know where he is, and it worries me. No doubt he was taken as we were, though it seems as we were many for different fates. From the state of my head, I think I may have been drugged. Though I have been spared any serious physical mistreatment. You, however, look as though you have been treated most unfavorably. And I should not like to think of Khalid receiving the same. I think I'll leave you to distract any guards. Awesome. Then I will unlock your cage quickly. I think I found the key. You've got the key that fits? Then open the door already. Must I hand walk you through this? Alright. And for her... Oh, she's not in my party yet. I'm jumping the gun. Nature's servant awaits. Alright. You'll leave immediately. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we we'll leave immediately. As you would have it. Though there are other friends you must find as well. It was good to share your company again. Now she's there. Okay. One... Beer for you. Okay. Hmm. Very well. Hmm. Come on. Head down this way. Slaughtered by massive release of magical energy from the distance. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Alright. Well, so we've got to be quick here, turn this machine off. And we turn it off. And kill that thing. My blade will cut oh, you down to size. Bastard. Okay. Yep. Um, let's see here. Let's enable her her script for controlled thief. Here we go. Now she'll I'm detect with whatever you want. <laughs> Myra, welcome. You have escaped somewhat later than I had hoped. I am Attaqua. You have my welcome to this little piece of this place. I do so try to keep it more appealing than the rest. My thanks. How do you know my name? Your name is well known amongst those who watch. Your life's thread is bright indeed, though in your path lies many dark and free. And as to easing your mind and answering such questions as those that surely plague you, it is not my place to do so. I am sorry. Then of what use can you be to me? Such assistance as you will get from me depends on yourself. Are you prepared to answer a question? Yes, I will answer your question. And here is my hypothetical question. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells. Unable to communicate, the mage responsible appears and speaks. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die. But your sibling will oh, but your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die. But you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling presses the buttons, both of you will die. If both of you press your respective buttons, both of you will die. The mage says that you have one turn of the hourglass to decide your action. 
and then he leaves. This is silly. Buttons are not how one escapes dungeons. I would smash the button and rain beatings liberally down on the wizard for playing such a trick. Verily, of that I have no doubt, Mince. But the question is hypothetical and requires an answer born of the wisdom of Myra, not your impatience. Tell me, Myra, which... Do you press the button? Of course I will freaking press the button. Interesting. No action can be performed without consequences, especially that which follows the noble path. Deal with this, noble one. And let's kill mm. this thing. Hey, stand still. Come on, guys. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, I see what it is. Getting me. Well done, it appears you can deal with the consequences of your actions. In return for your indulgence, I offer advice. Seek out Raylev. He awaits for such as you. Offer him the release that he craves, and you shall find that the focus of your journey shall soon become apparent. Farewell. Come on. Kill it. Gotcha. There we go. pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. As you stare at the pool, you can catch a glimpse of the cityscape. For a brief moment, when absolute clarity, you watch the city changes. Ages pass, and the inhabitants drop their primitive tools and ways. Discoveries are made, and the minds of the people change and grow. Every day, grasping a new factor in mention. The image slips away until you see only a pool. Can you do that with all of them? The pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You watch and wonder as the world is born. From fire and molten rock, lands rise and fall, gaseous liquid snake and pour, and time passes. Eventually, seas are formed and the spark of life appears. The first organism is created and plant life begins its slow, inevitable blanketing of the new world. Oh, there's another one down here. Uh, you watch and wonder as the world is born. Oh, I saw that. Void appears, icy tendrils pull at your awareness to mean that you submit and are you with way. Pool is calm. Come on. I'm with Of course. Of course, everyone. Fall, creature, and feed the earth! Oh. Yep, beat them all to death. Yeah, if that's what you want. Uh. Wait a minute. Oh, jeez. I wonder why they're having such trouble. Forgot the armor. Name it. Good to go? Hmm. I'm waiting. Ready and willing. All right. Right you are. Some money. That's worth it. Yes. Wait a minute. For the fallen! <laughs> he was just standing there. Something up? All right, all right. Yeah, she's going to be my ranged attacker. Hmm. Whatever you desire. Set up her 
Time to move? Spells, so I'll do that right now. Some of these I don't really need. Like that. I'll take another magic missile. Eh. Cloud kill. Acid arrows. Um. Strength might be okay. What was this one? Oh, mirror image. Hmm. Eh. Another acid arrow. Fireball. That's the spell magic. Eh. Take another haste. Skin. It's always useful. Just take two of those. And that's that's the best I can do. Alright, she has some spells as well. Entangled now. Let's take bless, bless. Might as well take another one of those. Those probably won't work. Dark skin. Traps. Flame blade. What is this? No. Well, maybe I'll keep one. No. You need to be outside to use that. Oh, hold animal. No. This is cure disease. Healing spell and a healing spell. Oh, what's this? Oh, neutralized poison. Okay. Let's continue. No problem at all. Master, is it you? You have given me no eyes and I cannot see you. Why, yes, it is me. I have cleaned the sewage chambers and fed your guardian. Do you wish me to open the doors of the pit and begin my duties again? Yep, I do. You have not activated my movement functions. You must use the activation stone. I don't know where I put it. Rayleigh has the activation stone masters on the table in the room. The table near his life support jars. End dialogue. So, ah, that we want, that we want, that we want. So, I believe this is a longsword plus one. Yes. So that will go to my main character. This will go to her. This will also go to her, since that is her weapon proficiency. Should drop her taco down. Oh yeah, much better. And we'll give her a shot. This should also drop down my taco. And does more damage. I'm waiting. Uh, let's let's heal real fast. Yep, gotta hand it to you. You sure have some kind of courage to sleep in this place. I would have run screaming a dozen times over if you weren't here. We need to rest to succeed. I guess I should have 
be used to sleeping with both eyes open. I don't deal with this well. We're alike because of Gorion, but I prefer being in the background. Uh, oh, do you remember him much? My memory is fuzzy. He was a great mage, and supposedly a great adventurer. It's funny, we lived with him for years, and Jahira seems to know more about him. Nonsense. He was secretive with everyone. We just had mutual acquaintances. I guess he was a big friend of the Harpers. He even got a visit from Kelblin Blackstaff once. Real powerful mage talked to Gorion like an equal. I wish we could go back to those days before all this fuss and bother. Before I learned, well, we've seen so much, Candlekeep seems so small now. There wasn't much to go back to with Gorion gone. We still had friends there. They were proud, even if they didn't show it. Winthrop said so. He always thought Grind was too stuffy. I don't know, though. Oh, my head still hurts, and I keep thinking, I see. Things in the corners. Too much death here for my liking. It's in everything, even us. We won't be able to just walk away, you know. The guy that captured us? He knows about you. He said something about potential. Something about great power. Myra, say we won't look back. I don't care if he can tap the power or access whatever Avatar stuff. We gotta get away with from all this death. I have no intention of looking back. Our host has proven his evil intent. It means a lot to hear that. I can't stand all these shadows. Nothing to it. Sir Clay Golems. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see what we can do here. What do you want? Oh yeah, let's fireball these guys. Oh, the magic fizzled. Oh, crap. Oh, magic fizzled. Oh, there's me, me, me. Yes. If I have to fight... Oh. Don't get him, guys. Oh, did that. Oh. Hmm, very well. Name it. You can count on me. Let's pick up those arrows. Uh, let's see here. Some like money down here. Identify spell. Eh, I'm know. waiting. Tell me all about it. Oh, gotcha good. Oh. Yep. Oh. Turn oh. Little, little bits of meat, boys. Ready and willing. This way, then? Uh, there's gonna be more arrows up here. Yeah, nothing to it. 
¿Santana? Ah. Hmm. Very well. My blade will cut you down to size. Reminds me so much of Candle Keep. Dusty old tomes all over, bookcases nearly spilling. It's like we never left. But we did, didn't we, Myra? I just want to go home again. It doesn't matter where it is, just so as long as I can call it home. Whatever you want. Some jewels. Eh, identify. Jewels, a couple coins. What do you want? I don't know if well. Good to go. I'm waiting. If you say so. Name it. Just like old times. Well, except for the torture and all. <laughs> I await your need. It is done. Let's have her collect all the, uh... Ready and willing. Gotcha. Another spell. There's a couple of jars in these bookcases, um, if I remember correctly. Those, these are just books, they're not really worth anything. Alright. I think that's it. Yes? Hi, I am willing. Potions. Fill that back up. Yes. Um. I am ready. Enough without ye bother on me. Oh, what, what that I knew that you were in this place? I have no quarrel with you, Du Ragar. Suffice to say, this place is your doom. By the time the master returns, you shall be dead, and we shall be rewarded. Adam, lads, no mercy. Okay. Something up? Sounds like a fireball. Ooh. 
sweet. Why Moradin's hammer? Uh -oh. I'm waiting. Okay, you it is about forward. time. You I go. Forward. Armored, jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Uh oh. Be fun. Yep. Magic missile. Why more? Your book show. Who says what? Dwarves that attacked us. I read about them when you were skipping out of lessons back in Candlekeep. Duragar, I think. Kind of evil, I guess, so I'm not surprised they would be working for a captor. Quite the little setup down here. Got everything he needs, including smiths. For the knives, probably. The knives. He has a lot of them. I'm going to have a couple of scars from this. Looks like you will, too. As if I need another reminder, Myra, I don't care what power this guy thinks he can tap into you. He's just sick to the core. We can never look back. Alright, let's go collecting. Hmm. Whatever you desire. Uh. Take one of those. I want that. I want that. I want that. I don't want slings. crossbows. That goes to her. Okay, this is gonna have to go to her. Oh, come on. Where are you? Ready and willing. Good to go. Get down here with the rest of us so you can identify this piece of armor. Yes. Here's the. I got here. Flail, Morning Star. Um, don't think I want any else of that stuff. Speak your mind. I believe this is actually better. Yes. In pretty much every way. against critical hits. Uh, Minx you can wait for now. Uh, 
as I would have done. Another chest. Okay. Take that, take that. Chainmail armor. Get rid of that. It's pretty much damaged now. So is that. Protects against critical hits. <laughs> she looks pretty silly wearing that, but. I'm waiting nothing to it. Is locked. Something up? Open this. Right, you are. It tells you that you need to. There's like a statue you need to put in here. So you gotta find it. Yeah, very well. Now, I know about this part from earlier. There is a trap down here. There it is. Time to move? Alright, alright. Mm, what would you like? Could manage your servant away. You point, I punch. What do you want? You can count on me. Swords! Live by the sword. Live a good long time. Name this way then. Mince and who stand ready. Let's find out what this is. Identify. Hmm. Oh. Now, is it going to be better than what he has?
Unfortunately, no. What about this? Nope. And I think she has chainmail. Chainmail armor. So unless it's special, and it's not. Whoa, 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 what, what hit me? Oh, where'd you come from? Great fun! Next time. I thought I killed everything up there. Alright. So, we did everything... Well, most of the things that need to be done up there. We have to come back with the, um, statue. Where's the master? Pickled men today. <laughs> Who is the master you speak of? He was my friend, I think. Cast out and one of us no longer. I cannot remember. Are you to take my place? As a servant of this bastard you call master, I think not. I will kill him if I can. Strangers be ye. Ah, things have gone bad since I have died. Threaten not the master, for you shall surely perish. Driven is he, and power he seeks. <laughs> Who are you? It is difficult to remember. I was where I live. Dead, I think. Tell me, friend, do you know how to leave this place? How to escape? Prisoners be ye. Truly, I have been dead, but not dead to him. I seek release. I have been along for too long. The master can take nothing more. I am forgotten. What do you mean by forgotten? Why are you in this jar? I was a faithful hound to the master, a friend even. I was dying or dead. I cannot remember which. Truly you are a stranger to this place. Eternal life was to be my reward for faithful service. The master has suspended me until he can cure me. Return my youth to me. He has forgotten you then, hasn't he? But if you were a faithful servant, why? I begin to understand the master has left my side for study of another. He seeks to awaken power. A study of life and death. But I cannot bear the role of years. He is forgotten because he does not wish to remember. What was taken, I barely remember myself. You want to... Basically, you want me to kill you. Release! Yes! Master! I, I no longer wish to come back! Call my friend, how it is can I help? This unit that contains me is powered by cells, by crystals. Take them, I can sleep, die again, die at last. I know you are prisoners. Some things do not change. You must escape this place in the master's experiments. There are others like me, but of more recent experiments. They may know how the master exists, exits the complex. You will take the cells to revive them and learn that what you can return to this path free my life. Yep. I thank thee. Go and leave me to oblivion at last. Pain He's willing. He's dead now? This pathetic creature. Yep. He's dead. I can't look away, Myra. I've seen death in our scuffles before, but here I did nothing but watch his life end. I can't look away. <laughs> Death is not always to be feared. 
that is pretty. Why would I think of that? Oh, Myra, I've got to get out of this place. Yeah, very well. That is the activation mm. stone. Oh. I'm waiting. Whatever you want. Yes. If you say so. Okay, let's go back to the golem. Give him his little rock. Oh, there's a lot more stuff in here. Something up? Gotcha. Pick the lock. And open it. Come on. Uh. Oh. Dispel magic. Hmm. Of course. me again. Uh, yeah, open the doors. Yeah, here's the stone. Okay. I'm waiting. If that's what you want. He's gonna go do that. We're gonna come in here. Time to move? I know this room. I've been in here. We both have. He... There are things in these tanks. They used to be people. Mm-hmm. What kind of monster is this guy? Captures us as easy as pie, kills whoever he wants. That could have been us in those glass things. We'll get him back. We'll make him pay for all of this. We don't even know where we are. And my head is still doing funny things. He said something. Something about potential. He said something like, Releasing power within you so it could be used. But if it means taking part in horrible things, I do not like this place. Can we go? Oh, 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 oh. Kill it. Kill it. You would got you good. Oh. Master, Master, is that you? I can barely see. It has been so long and I have been so alone. It's all alone. Yes, it is Master. Are you all right? I did not mean to go into the mistress's room. I knew it was dangerous. So very dangerous. In there. I was not trying to steal anything. Truly. I was not trying to steal anything of the mistresses. I would never do that. I am faithful to you always. Why am I here, Master? What has happened to me? You do not hear me, do you? Was I heard in the mistress's room, Master? I can't remember nothing. Is the mistress's room truly so deadly? I am sorry, so sorry. I will never do it again, Master. Please save me, please. I will never do it again, I serve you only. Ah, so long I have I lain behind this prison of glass do I weep and rage. How long have you been trapped in that bottle? I have called out so many, many times to thee, Master, Master, why hast thou forsaken me? Why hath, hast thou left me in the bottle to wither? Why? Can you tell me nothing? Do you not hear me? Master, thou displace me here out of kindness. Thou have forgotten me, I have I slipped from my thoughts. What manner of person would do such a thing? 
Thou couldst not cure what was done, but surely thy magics have increased, Master. Thou didst care for me once. Let me help in thy search. Do not forget me here forever, please. Can't help you. Why hast thou forgotten? There is no boon, Master. Please do not leave me. Ah, and glass and thoughts for eternity. Pain and loneliness for destiny. I would hate being forgotten in a bottle. It might depend somewhat on the type of bottle, but overall I expect the effect would be similar. It is not right. Why, Master, I long only to hear the words once more. Why? Why? Master, you must hurry. The prisoners will break soon, and you will have the answers that you seek. No, Master, I have not let had the golem open the cells, he has no key. I beg your forgiveness, Master, but did you not leave the cell key at the table in the jailer's room? Thank you, Master, I shall return to the prison. Oh, that scared me. With vengeance! Ages of weariness, ages of burning, my master, I beg of you. Uh, or yes, it is I. It is burning me, my skin is afire with the crawling of ants, so please, master, save me. I, I am not like your genie to be coiled within a bottle for, for, ah. What is burning you, friend, and who is this genie that you speak of? Please, master, the ants. Does your genie have nothing of yours that may aid me? Ah. I will take the statue you speak of to him myself, if you will let, if you will but let me. Where can I find this statue? Please give me the statue, master. Ah, the pain crawls along my skin. Aid me, master. The genie must have magic, must have something. Oh, please, the pain. Ah, the burning. It is monstrous that one would do such a thing to a servant to lock him away in an eternity of pain. It offends nature. Good to go. Oh, it's locked too. Okay, unlock that thing. And ooh, quarter staff. So quarter staff plus one. I believe she can use it. Let's see what this does. Oh yeah. Seriously? The club is a better weapon. Oh, this crate too. Yes, whatever you desire. Yeah. Hmm, nothing to it. Yeah, this way. It's probably not worth anything. Yeah, let me 
get in here. Whoa! Go for the eyes! <laughs> I guess that's slightly better than the other ones. Hmm, tell me all about it. Great fun! Right, <laughs> Boo? Gotcha good. to move? Right you are. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. Really, there's I'm no... with nothing to it. Yep. All right, all right. Yes, very well. You suddenly sense it. Suddenly have a sense of imminent danger. Something here is not what it seems. And there are traps in the room. What do you want? No problem at all. Hmm. Whatever you want. Oh. More traps. Name it. You can count on me. Let's take care of this one. Eh, chromatic orb. Let's take that one. Of course it's locked. Another key. Another spell. Change the stuff around here. She is at her limit. Don't 
need that. Extra second level wizard spell. I'm waiting, if you say so. Protect me, ladies. Free us. Slow down. Who are you and what is going on here? We are his possession. Servants, his concubines. Please help us to escape. How can I help you? If you can escape, you must take our acorn to the queen. Tell her of our plight in this creature's lair. Take them to the fairy queen who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. This will be our deliverance from this this Irenicus in his dungeon. So I see we have a name for a captor at last. Irenicus, is it? Tell me, Dryads, why is this Irenicus going to such lengths to keep you three here? We are supposed to instill emotion, but he is barren inside. I am not sure what he expects. You can foil his plans for us at least if you take the acorn to the Fairy Queen. Then she can regrow our trees and free us. Of course I will help you, ladies. Thank you, you must take the acorns and deliver them to the Fairy Queen. Blah, 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 blah. But he has taken the acorns. He knows our ugh, knows of our plans. It amuses him. Yep, he left them with that guy that we um, slaughtered a little while ago. You have done a noble thing for us. Please take these acorns to the very queen who lives northeast of the human settlement on trade me. You must use the portal to travel to the next level of the complex. This is how Irenicus travels. The portal's triggered by certain key. He uses her key. He still loves her, you see. He keeps her room just as it was, though well protected. We must go there sometimes and look at her things. Ready and so willing. beautiful. I used to dream of dryads and their beautiful trees. You are welcome among us, girl. Youthful exuberance is music that we have not heard in such a long time. I used to dream, but he doesn't. Your charms don't work on him anymore, do they? How do you know of this? He has touched you as us, hasn't he? Irenicus searches for something he cannot find, and he looks within those that have no more idea than he. Irenicus. A name that is synonymous with death and ugliness. No, death sounds different. He showed me. I spit on his name. I spit on this place. Live as you can where you must, young woman. You will not survive if you give in. We have learned this. I have learned something different. So beautiful you are. I almost can't see you. I just want to go home. Oh, Myra, when can we go home? And with that, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, take care, and I'll this see you next time. This place is just too darn creepy.